This video is sponsored by BuyCheapMuckCoins.com. Make sure you head on over there for all your Muck coin purchases. Use code GS5 for a discount at checkout. What up, what up? What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Meta 15 Online Gameplay. And today, we are um, using the Tennessee Titans. And we are going up against the Houston Texans. So, uh, first and foremost, man, really quickly. I know I always say annotation above, right? But I just don't do it. Because uh, I got so many things going on. <laughs> but I'm pr definitely going to do it. Uh, I promise. Annotation above on the screen for uh, my Mutt channel. Um, a lot of people have asked me to play Cookie Boy. And we actually played yesterday. And that's going to go up Sunday on my Mutt channel since it was a Mutt game. So, if anybody's interested in watching me play Cookie Boy, it's a very good game. Uh, his team is stacked as well. He has like an 89, 90 overall team. So, his team is... His team was good, and uh, I've never beat Cookie Boy. Um, I'm 0-2 against them heading into this game, and it, it turns into be a, a good game. And um, like I said, I'm uploaded Sunday. So if you guys have not already subscribed to my Mutt channel, make sure you guys do. Or if you're just uninterested in Mutt, but you would like to see me play a game against Cookie Boy, um, it's going to be Sunday at around 7 p.m. So, um, you know, it uh, should be a game that, you know, you guys enjoy because uh, like I said, I get it a lot, so I hit them up on Twitter. I'm like, yo, listen, do you have any free time? Because I get hit up all the time when I'm streaming and comments. You should play Cookie Boy. And he's like, yeah. He's like, I trust me. I get it too. Play GS. He's like, yeah, we can get it. Uh, we could get it. In, and we end up playing that day and uh, it turned out to be a good game. So like I said, it's going to be um, this Sunday. So uh, subscribe. Or if you're on mobile, you know, link is always in the description. Um, just Or you can search on YouTube, Mr. Golden Mutt to check it out. So um, right now we got a seven-point lead. And, um, again, really cool. I know I'm getting off topic, but I was checking out the comments yesterday, man, where we finally won our first franchise game. And, oh, man, I was excited, man. It was awesome to see the comments. The people were excited with me as well. And, you know, to see Shady McCoy going loose and putting up big numbers. And, oh, man, it felt so good to finally win against those cheesy bastards. Because the computer and all Madden, they just be destroying me, breaking sacks and tackles. And then I was getting bad playbooks. So, his first game, we got a playbook. A San Diego playbook that I'm extremely familiar with. A playbook that actually ran to begin the year. And um, we actually won. And it was incredible. So um, I just enjoyed reading the comment section. A lot of people are like, oh, GS won. You got to be kidding me. He finally won. Like, good job, man. Like, uh, Darren, um, I was going to say Darren Sproles. Uh, McCoy should be a good addition to the Les Squadron. And I, I was excited, man. So, um, yeah. So into this game, 7-7. Seven, seven, halftime is approaching. We definitely want to get in at least field goal range. But... But we could taste the end zone, though. You know what I'm saying? I can see it from here. Whenever I pass that 50-yard line, you know, I want to be able to taste that end zone. So, right there, we pick up the first down. First and 10 right here. Woo! We got rid of the ball just before the block. Woo! Woo! That double juke, though. Right here, again, another uh, route towards the outside. You know, if he's not playing the outside, you got to continue dinging them, man. You got to continue dinging them. If they are having trouble stopping whatever it is you're doing, don't stop it, man. Don't stop it. If a pitcher is throwing a 91 mile an hour slider in the dirt and the other team continuously swings and not hit it, he's going to keep throwing the same damn slider. Why? Because you need to learn, baby. You need to adjust to what it is I'm doing. So right before halftime, there's one second left. He goes deep up the middle. Well, not too deep, but he goes he goes towards the middle, midway. Hit. Not midway, okay. He goes into immediate, not too deep, but kind of not too short, and he's kind of in the middle of the field. And we stop it. Okay, so he gets the ball to halftime. So he's, he's still in the game. You know, he definitely still has an opportunity to go on ahead and come back. And he goes towards the right side. Yo, Foster is such a monster. Like, this man is a fall. He's a tank, man. He is a falling forward, hard to bring down monster. Kind of makes me want to play with Houston more often. He's such a monster. Uh, right there, hits me with the play action. Beautiful pass, but we get lucky and he drops the pass. Fourth down and whoo! We bat that away. And we are already in great field. Uh, uh, field territory so as long as we don't make any mistakes we should at least at minimum be able to pick up a field goal uh right here we step up in the pocket really quick oh that's come on baby that's all i do drag slants and that's what i do man dink and dunk i'm a dink and dunker baby oh whoa 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 he took my knees i was already in the end zone that's disrespectful though so we're up 21 to 7 at this point so right now possibly and i'm, and, and I'm saying possibly because we all know how my uh how my decision making can be, and I could give the ball right back in the blink of an eye. But possibly the game could be over with one stop. So 
I'm definitely trying to accomplish that. See if we can go ahead and get ourselves a stop. So to end the court, he runs up the middle. He gets a huge run. And that's the only thing wrong with Foster is that he's not the fastest guy in the world. You know, LaShawn McCoy, Jamal Charles possibly scores right there. But then again, there's not too many people on earth that have Jamal Charles and, and uh, LaShawn McCoy's speed. But uh, Foster, look at look at him. Just trucking. Just trucking forward, man. I had such a hard time defending him this game. So uh, right here, we're up 21-7. Uh, 14, excuse me. All we want to do is get in field goal. We could win without even scoring. You know, get ourselves a couple first downs. But... Uh, to be on the safe side, I would like to at least be in field goal range to go on ahead and hopefully secure the victory. And uh, that's going to help us, you know, go up two possessions, worst case scenario. So we hit the outside right there with Lil Leon. Lil Leon. And we pass midfield. Again, we could win without even scoring right here. Just a couple first downs. Nice little double juke towards the inside right here. You know, you would expect him to start wasting his timeouts. But he actually saves it. Now he's going to start wasting his timeouts. So actually, no, he doesn't. Dang. Okay. Well, uh, he should have been wasting his timeouts. Now he starts wasting his timeouts. And that right there, that'll do it, guys. No need to score. We just go on ahead and um, take some knees, and that's going to be the end of the game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Love each and every single one of you guys. Man, your boy Jess, we're going to be sending out. Uh, don't forget, man, annotations on the screen. Link is in the description. Or if you're on mobile, just search Mr. Golden Mutt for me and Cookie Boy's game this Sunday. It's your boy Jess. And like I said, we're out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.